There's a river right there. See, Roger and Doug Bacon head out to survey their dairy farm ahead of the storm. Between them, father and son have seen so many floods in their fields, they've lost count. And this picture was taken from right here. Where we're right standing. here, right where we're standing. Their cows have been stranded before, but the big fear is a hurricane that would strand the people. And if that happens, how will you get out? You won't. The rivers here rise and fall with the tide, while the grassy dikes hold back the ocean from the land. Roger Bacon, a former premier of Nova Scotia, recalls making storm repairs with his father. We all had to keep our dikes up because what dike goes out, all of the rest of farmer's land would be flooded too. The people who live in this area will be the first to feel a flood, but they won't be the only ones. This is the Trans-Canada Highway. Just beyond it, the CN Rail Tracks. $50 million worth of trade goes through here every day. Hello. Just up the road, emergency official Mike Johnson has spent his summer preparing people in case of a sudden evacuation. So I'm collecting his phone numbers, names, addresses. And Johnson doesn't check a home off his list until he's spoken to someone at their door. He plans to leave no one behind. Thank you. This area, this street going down is pretty much at the marsh level, which if the dike wasn't there, the water would be in here. This fall, a federal provincial project will start to look for a way to top up the dikes and protect the area from a 100-year storm, but that will take years to complete. In the meantime, the Bacons watch the weather and hope the big one holds off. Well, all depends where the moon is, where the tide is, and how it all works and what kind of storm surge we have. You know. Hurricane Dorian is expected to arrive here Saturday afternoon. Shana Lux, CBC News, Amherst, Nova Scotia.